Hi folks, this is Quabno with OpenMV, and today I want to talk to you about a new feature that we're going to be rolling out shortly for all OpenMV cams called ROMFS. So the ROMFS is a new read-only file system that will be stored on your OpenMV cams flash, and it more or less allows you to store very large assets, such as a model, which could be up to 10 megabytes or more, on your OpenMV cam, and that model will then be able to be memory mapped uh, pretty much when that file is opened in the ROM file system, a pointer is returned, uh, which can be used then to basically directly execute the model in place without having to load it into Flash. ROM file system actually works for pretty much any asset and gives you a very nice trade-off, uh, more or less allowing us to put binary assets in the Flash of your microcontroller that do not require to be loaded into RAM anymore in order to be used. They can be directly executed in place. This is perfect for allowing you to put models on your OpenMV cam that can be executed by the neural network accelerators on board the OpenMV cam N6 and AE3, along with being able to help make models easier to run on our previous generation of OpenMV cams. We plan to use this feature a lot, and it's going to be super helpful for allowing us to get the best performance out of these low power systems. All right, so let's see how you use ROMFS. The way this works is we have a new uh, you know, dialog um, inside OpenMV IDE, which allows you to modify and work with ROMFS files. And you can click right here, Edit ROMFS on the OpenMV cam. And right now we have an OpenMV cam AE3 connected. And we can say, uh, I want to edit the high performance cores ROMFS. Click that. And OpenMV IDE will then proceed to pull that file system out of your OpenMV cam. And it's going to read it back. And once it finishes doing that, we can then edit the ROMFS file system and then commit it back to the OpenMV cam. So you can see right here, we've got a lot of different assets on board. Uh, you've got hard cascades, FOMO face detector, person detection, um, and also a YOLO uh, TF light model and some text files for the labels. Uh, you can extract files from this ROMFS file system. If you want to save this to your desktop, you can delete things here. You can double click to edit the file names here. You can also add files yourself from your desktop, and you can also add models. So if we click the Add Model button, we've actually got a new feature called the Model Zoo built into OpenMV Cam. Uh, and so the Model Zoo will allow you to pretty much look at a few demo models that we're going to ship with the OpenMV IDE, and it lets you check out what these are. You got a little browser on the side of licenses about how you're allowed to use these models um, for production and deployment. And it gives you a good way to test out the system's functionality, see what things look like, and play with the system, and uh, you know get started pretty easily. So we can click over here, for example, if we want to deploy a tiny YOLO model V2 in this case. So we click OK, and this will then invoke the different, uh, the various MPU compilers, if required, for the particular OpenMV cam that you are using. So for the OpenMV cam A3, it needs the Vela compiler, and that's now built into OpenMV IDE. And so you can either choose to optimize the model for size or performance for deployment. Uh, you can also do Vela, command, uh, Vela compiler command line options. Uh, normally, these aren't very interesting, but if you want to do your own custom stuff and see more logs, you can go in here, check out the CLI options, and add them uh, to, this, to this system. Uh, anyway, let's click Optimize for Performance. So once we do that, uh, OpenMV IDE will invoke the Vela compiler. And this is going to go compile the model to run on the OpenMV Cam A3 so that you can get the advantages of, well, you can get the performance of the uh, MPU. Uh, in particular, it does show some interesting things, like it gives you warnings when it says the operator is going to be on the CPU. And so that's very useful to know. You also get a list of how the operators work in that, kind of your you know, graph of the model. Um, it also is going to tell you your peak uh, off-chip SRAM, off-chip flash and on-chip uh, SRAM that you're using, your operators, for example, which are on the MPU, what are on the CPU, for example. Gives you some memory bandwidth numbers. Those aren't particularly interesting, but it's great to have that detail. And uh, the best information, though, is down at the bottom, which you'll get an inference per second number that's estimated based on the system performance capabilities. Uh, this doesn't include, though, scaling the image, receiving an image, and a bunch of other things you have to do to actually feed new images to the model. So you're not really going to hit this performance number exactly, but you're going to be nearby it. And it'll also tell you whether or not you ran out of heap. 
And so in particular, we can see this model uh, uses about 38% of the RAM on board the OpenNVCam A3. And just to know, for, for example, here, we're at you know, 1.5 megabytes uh, when using this model. That's only 38% on the OpenNVCam A3. So these new cameras are definitely a generational leap from what we've previously had. Anyway, click OK, and that'll then put the model into the RAMFS file system. And after you've got that done, you can click the Commit button. And you can either save that to a file on your desktop uh, for later usage, which you can open again and then commit to your camera, or you can commit directly. So click the Commit button, and now OpenMV IDE is going to flash that ROMFS file back to the OpenMV cam. Uh, this can take a long time depending on how big your model is, and so right now we're flashing about 12 megabytes back to the OpenMV cam. That's going to take a while, so let's take a break, as the IDE is saying, and uh, get some stretch time in. Okay, that took a while, but it's finally done. The model has been flashed to the OpenMV cam. So now that the system reboots, we can connect to it and we can run the model. And boom, we've got person detection working on board your OpenMV cam A3 using a YOLO V2 model. And as you can see, decent quality. Uh, performance is about 11 frames a second for this model that's about 10 megabytes in size. And it is executing off the OctoSpy flash um, that's attached to the OpenMV cam uh, A3's main CPU. Anyway, thank you for watching. All right, get excited. The OpenMVCam A3 and N6 are coming soon.